Good evening Hackology, in tonight's episode we're going to be looking at the code driving the LED multiplexing from the Arduino and uh, I'm going to keep the intro short because we're going to get straight to it. So the first variable you come across in the code is define IR size 8 and this basically defines how many LEDs there are per digit on the LED display. Uh, so if you had a 7 segment display you'd obviously have this set to 7 and set up slightly different to the way that I've got it. Moving on anyway. Count variables for timing. These are basically to control the frame rate later on in the code. So um, I'll explain those a little bit later. I resistor read is to hold the reading of the potentiometer or variable resistor in. Okay, so then we come to I delay writes, I delay digits, I delay frames. And these variables are basically you can manipulate them and change the draw speed to the Arduino. They're all set to zero at the moment because uh, it's programmed to work um, with them set to zero. But if you change them, you'll be able to see how the um, Arduino is multiplexing the LEDs. For instance, if you change I delay digits, um, that's quite a good one. And possibly I delay writes is, uh, is the best. <laughs> Okay, so moving on, we've got I scroll speed, and that will define the speed of your marquee text that moves across the screen. We've got um, digit 1, digit 2, digit 3, and digit 4. These are all definitions for the pins that control the resistors to turn each individual digit on or off. Then below that, we have some character definitions for the text that we'd like to output to the display. Um, you'll also want to note that the first one that lists the first eight characters of the alphabet are for debugging purposes and you should use these to map your Arduino to this code. Um, then we have a reference which is the dot um, LED, the bottom LED, the bottom left LED, the bottom right LED, the middle LED, top left, top right and top LED. Um, so basically that tells you um, a little bit of information about the characters below. So each one of the um, places inside the character array holds a um, one or a zero, so they're eight bit um, character array. And this basically, uh, when we call the draw function, tells the Arduino which LEDs to light up to draw the appropriate letter. Okay, so let's scroll past that. Then, um, if we look at the void setup, which is the loop, uh, sorry, the function that gets called every time the Arduino is initialized. So this is called once, and then function, uh, the void loop function is called uh, over and over again, which is the Arduino loop. So, uh, in the void setup on um, in in the code. Basically, this just defines all the pins and what they're going to be used for. So if you go through, I've actually listed all the pins that are mapped to the uh, Arduino and the LED display. Then you'll notice digit 1, digit 2, digit 3, digit 4. Again, these are definitions for controlling the transistors that are going to be um, turning each individual digit on or off. And um, pin, pin 1 uh, is defined for input which basically uh, is the pin that's used to take the reading from the potentiometer or variable resistor to change the display rate depending on whether you have that enabled or not. I've added code so you can enable it or disable it pretty easily. Okay, um, we have, we've got a, now, now we're looking at the main loop function which is basically where the Arduino loops round in this function and this is where we can do our stuff and tell it to write to the LED display. So the first thing I've put in there is a delay which is set to zero at the moment so it doesn't hit that. Um, then we've got uh, I resistor read analog one which takes the reading from the resistor. Uh, then it sets I delay digits equal to the resistor reading divides by two. Uh, that will basically take a reading from the resistor and slow the draw rate down of each individual digit um, by the 
resistor reading. And then we have some count variables here. This is to control the rate of text, the, the rate that the text scrolls across the screen. Because the frame rate is so high on the Arduino, if we didn't have this control or we didn't move the characters on in code um, using our own variables which we're counting on the frame rate, it, you wouldn't be able to read it and all the lights would appear as though they were lit up. So uh, these uh, counts are important. <coughs> uh, the I count 19 basically uh, is greater than 19, checks the character buffer, which is the display text that gets drawn to the LED, which is your marquee text. Um, to see if it's longer than that, so you should set 19 to the what, whatever you're using your character buffer up at the top. Um, then next, the uh, function's right, car, right chart is called to write the character out to the Arduino, and basically what it does is it writes it to digit 1, so it knows it's got to write um, I char to digit 1, and it calls the appropriate function to do that. We'll, we'll look at that in a little moment. And then underneath that, you'll notice it writes to digit 2, digit 3, and digit 4. Then um, <coughs> it loops back and does exactly the same thing again. So uh, it will advance the characters in this function. It will also uh, set the scroll speed and write the characters. And there are some smaller functions that I've done just to save on some code. So we've got ones that will, um, well, the important one is write character. So write char writes a specific character to a specific digit. And it also uh, turns on uh, the, the pin that controls the transistor. So set pin digit one in write char turns the transistor on to write the character to that specific digit and then after it's written the character to it, it turns that specific transistor off. Okay, so then we've got set pin, which is just basically a small function I wrote to control whether the pin was turned on or off, just using an integer. Then draw data uh, will basically draw the character to the screen. So that takes the integer array that gets passed into it, works around it, and figures out which LEDs need to be turned on or off. And then uh, you'll notice underneath we have a uh, right character, and all this does is converts the uh, alpha uh, betic character to uh, a an integer array, which we've defined at the top. And that's basically it. That then passes it into the draw data function, which writes it to the appropriate digit because the transistor will be either in an on state uh, well the transistor will be turned on for the appropriate digit and that hackology is the code to be honest there are quite a lot of modifications you could make to this code to improve it like moving the number drawing function into the character drawing function because at the moment you have to edit some code if you want to display numbers to it um, which I'll probably cover in a future episode when I've had some time to work on the code. Uh, I really hope you've enjoyed this episode and the short series that we've done on the Arduino. And last of all, I'd just like to say a big thank you to DD3 and Mainframe uh, from secfo.org and controlaltrol.com uh, for both providing me with a room uh, for IRCing. You can catch me on either one of the IRC servers. I'll post links up on the video and um, have fun hacking. We'll be back soon. Peace.